तर सोलर चिमणी हा एक ऑदर टॉपिक आहे आपल्या याच्यामध्ये पण तो आपण घेतला नाही ऑदर सोर्सेसमध्ये तर हा नेमका टॉपिक काय तो आपण बघू सोलर चिमणी इन मेनी पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड देर इज ग्रोइंग अवेअरनेस दॅट फ्रॉम अल्टरनेटिव्ह सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी इज यूज टू फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी हवेअर ओनली द सोलर एनर्जी रिप्रेझेंट टोटली नॉन पोल्युटिंग इनएक्झॉस्टेबल एनर्जी रिसोर्स दॅट कॅन युटिलाइज इकॉनॉमिकली टू सप्लाय मॅन्स एनर्जी नीड्स फॉर ऑल द टाइम तर हे बघा हे स्ट्रक्चर आहे सोलर चिमणीचं द प्रोटोटाईप ऑफ द सोलर चिमणी स्ट्रक्चर्स देर आर लॉट ऑफ मेथड्स युझिंग द सोलर एनर्जी अँड द सोलर चिमणी इज वन ऑफ देम विच कॅन बी ॲक्च्युली सीन इन द फॉलोइंग फिगर सो हाऊ इट वर्क्स ॲक्च्युली इन नाईन्टीन सेवन्टी एट इट वॉज सजेस्टेड बाय प्रोफेसर स्टगार्ट युनिव्हर्सिटी दॅट पॉवर कॅन बी प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय अ हॅब्रिड सोलर सिस्टीम the solar uh, chimney system consists of three parts the solar collector turbines and the chimney so how it works we will see in the next part so there are some components are the parts of the solar chimney the collector the collector is the part which is used to produce hot air by greenhouse effect it is usually 5 to 6 meter high and covers a very large uh, area about uh, thousands of square meter as shown in the figure means the area required is more okay so for that uh, collection of the solar energy or the solar radiations then this is the figure of the collector so this this part is showing the solar collector okay this white then uh, okay uh, since uh, glazing increases the mass of the roof a uh, glazed collector okay glazed uh, solar collector should have stronger rods and should be attached uh, like like this in the figure okay this is the glazed uh, collector roof of the solar chimney uh, it covers a large area thousands of square meter there is no limitation for the uh, surface area the larger the area the more energy uh, generated from the chimney there should be slightly increasing height towards the chimney in order to obtain uh, minimum friction so efficient uh, one is glazed collector it can convert up to 70% of uh, irritated solar energy into a uh typical annual average is about a 50% also with proper maintenance the life span of this uh, solar chimney or solar collector is about uh 60 years or more so uh, this is the structure of the turbine which are also used in uh, solar chimney turbine for solar chimney power station turbines uh, showing in this figure are used to convert air current into mechanical energy turbines are placed horizontally in uh, chimney uh, vertically in the collector in order to obtain maximum energy from the warmed air turbines blade should cover all the cross sectional area of the chimney to do this one big uh, turbine or a few small turbines should be used in chimney as shown in the figure so these turbines can be used turbine with large diameter and the turbine with the less diameter small diameter turbines uh, can be used chimney this is the structure of that hello the most important part of the plant is the chimney seen in the figure so when it acts as a thermal uh, power station or thermal engine since the friction loss is minimum in the chimney it likes a pressure tube this this is like a pressure tube now longer the chimney is height the more the energy produced from the chimney the efficiency of the chimney is not uh, depend on the amount of the temperature rising but depends on the outside temperature does the efficiency directly the efficiency directly proportional to the um, uh, ratio between the height of the chimney and outside temperature although the efficiency is proportional to the height of the chimney there is a limitation in practice there are two uh, types of different chimneys using uh, for the plant 
free standing chimneys and uh, right tubes the life span of free standing chimneys longer than that of the guide tubes it uh, last about 100 uh, years and uh, so this is the free standing uh, tubes and this is the guide tubes then working principle how it works actually working principle of the solar chimney transparent roof which is seen in the figure 10 admits uh, the short wave solar radiation component and retains long wave radiations from the heated ground thus when solar radiation passes through the transparent roof it is absorbed by the ground elements and it converts into a uh, heat energy so it can be uh, converted into the heat energy then since air is heated it starts up to rise and more uh, towards the chimney in, in the figure 11 also it gains uh, velocity heated air enters the chimney placed at the center of the roof and creates a uh, draft there inside the chimney turbines with electric generator and produce the electricity inside this uh, uh, portion so there are some uh, formulas how to collect the collector efficiency but there are no uh, examples or like that there are some uh, formula how to collect uh, how to actually calculate the efficiency of the collector solar collector okay so that efficiency is calculated by key q okay where q is actually the heat output and uh, a is a is the area of the collector means the surface area of the collector and uh, g is the solar radiations solar radiations mean intensity of the solar radiations and uh, there are some formulas how to calculate the heat output m uh, cp multiplied by delta okay these formulas are not in your syllabus or uh, there is no examples for that but the mass flow or the heat output q can be calculated by m is the mass cp is the uh, specific heat of the air and delta t is the temperature differences between the collector and the outflow whatever may be the there is temperature uh, difference that is delta t uh, that is the difference between uh, the temperature of the collector and the outflow and there are also uh, how to calculate the specific density and like that there are some uh, uh, formulas for that सो हे टर्बाईन जे आहे ते आपण विंड मिल साठी वापरलं तर ते विंड मिल मध्ये जास्त इफिशियन्सी मिळते सोलर चिमणी मध्ये विंड मिल आपण ते युज करतो म्हणजे हायब्रिड याला हायब्रिड याच्या साठी म्हटलंय कारण याच्यामध्ये तुम्ही टर्बाईन वापरताय म्हणजे विंड मिल सारखं जे काम करते ते सोलर टर्बाईन करते आणि सोलर कलेक्टर हे जे तुमचं प्लॅस्टिकचं किंवा ग्लेज्ड कव्हरिंग जे आहे इट ऍक्च्युली यु कॅन से इट ऍब्सॉर्ब द सोलर रेडिएशन तर ते दोन टाईपचं हायब्रिड काम करतं पण त्याची इफिशियन्सी ज्या वेळेला आपण एकत्रित रित्या कॅल्क्युलेट करतो इट इज लेस फॉर एक्झाम्पल ॲट हाईट ऑफ वन थाउजंड मीटर चिमणी इफिशियन्सी समॉट ग्रेटर दॅन द थ्री पर्सेंट तर थ्री पर्सेंटच्या आसपास त्याची इफिशियन्सी मिळते सो सो व्हाय यूज पाईप ऑर एअर चॅनल टू एनक्लोज द टर्बाईन व्हाय नॉट हॅव ए लार्ज विंड फार्म विथ द टर्बाईन्स माउंटेड ऑन टावर्स इन द ओपन एअर त्याच्यामुळं आपण ओपन एअरमध्ये विंड मिल किंवा विंड फार्म जर केलं तर इट इज मोर इफिशियंट दॅन दिस चिमनी द आन्सर इज गिवन इन दिस द क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस आन्सर ॲक्च्युली द फर्स्ट द विंड टर्बाईन्स इन्क्लोज इन अ पाईप कॅन प्रोड्यूस अँड एट टाइम्स ॲज मच ॲज पॉवर फॉर अ गिवन युनिट स्पीड दॅन ए टर्बाईन uh second the wind farm concept uh, would require a much uh, large number of turbines also the wind speed uh, in the open air around the collector is significantly less than the air velocity through the air channel then there are uh, different technologies using solar chimneys or large scale power plants with an output of 5 to 200 uh, megawatt each uh, 100 megawatt plant will produce about 750 year year at 2.3 kilowatt square meter for global horizon radiations 
for that the glass roof has to be several kilometers in diameter and the tube has to be as high as possible to achieve large animal output the turbine's uh, lifespan is based on its uh, resistance to rapid pressure and speed changes of the air the energy store in the collector is uh, given by this uh, graph and some uh, uh, readings since collector produces hot air by greenhouse effect greenhouse effect is the main thing which is used in solar chimney to produce electricity during the night and uh, tight water filled tubes are also placed under the roof as shown in the figure the water uh, heats up during the daytime and emits its heat at night these tubes are filled only once no further water is needed because the turbine remains closed uh, after filling the process tubes remains closed uh, the volume of the water in the tubes is selected to correspond to water layer in the, with the depth of 5 to 10 cm depending on the horizontal power output so this is the mildura solar chimney means different types of solar chimneys then uh, these are actually uh, situated in australia australia government the advantages then we will see some advantages and some uh, uh, disadvantages so the advantages of the solar chimney stations are popularly suitable for uh, generating electricity in deserts and uh, sun rich countries it provides electricity 24 hour just wait for that okay so it is quite suitable uh, for generating electricity in deserts and sun rich uh, uh, region it provides electricity 24 hour a day from solar energy done alone no fuel is necessary it needs no cooling water and is suitable for extreme uh, drying regions then uh, it is particularly reliable and little uh, travel prone compared with other power plants the material uh, concrete glass and steel necessary for building up a solar chimney power stations are everywhere in sufficient quantities and no ecological harm and no consumption of the resources but there are some certain uh, disadvantages also just wait for that Some estimate, uh, some estimates say that the cost of generating electricity for, from a solar chimney is uh, five times more from a gas turbine. Although the fuel is not required, uh, so solar chimneys uh, uh, have a very high cost. Capital cost is required, and the efficiency is less actually. So uh, the wind turbines are more suitable than this. Then the structure itself is massive and requires a lot of engineering expertise and materials to reconstruct. But the conclusion of this that the solar chimney power stations could make important contributions to the energy supply in Africa, Asia, Australia because there is plenty of space and sunlight available there. It is very important for the future because 